Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Dustin, and I'm taking your suggestions on what props you want to see me try to recreate using everyday materials and stuff I can find around the house or at local stores. So let's get started. All right, so I've gotten a lot of requests for the flux capacitor from Back to the Future. This is one of my favorite props ever. It's so iconic. I did build one in the past for a shot for shot recreation that I did of the clock tower scene, but I want to show you how to make your own totally DIY and it just makes such a cool decoration to have around the house and it lights up. It essentially just starts with a box that we can paint gray. We're going to cut a little window and then add these lights in, just a few of these details, these little plugs, and the labels. And that's kind of like the whole thing is that it's just very simple, but so iconic looking. All right, so I'm just gonna gather up my supplies. Okay, I think I have everything I need. Now the main component here, of course, is the box. I happen to have a box already that's pretty close to the right shape, so I'm just gonna go with that one. Now the first thing that we wanna do is cut a window out of the top. I'm just looking at the pictures and kind of eyeballing where the shape is. It's got rounded corners and stuff. So here's a cool DIY trick. I want to round these corners off. So I'm just going to find a round object like this jar and trace the edge of it. Cool. <laughs> and we're done. Okay, so that's it for the cut. Now I'm just gonna paint it with gray primer, inside and out, now this cost me $3. All right, so that's looking pretty cool. Um, before I do any other details, I am gonna go straight into the lights and get those hooked up in here. So I found this LED rope light. So this was $17, but totally worth it. That's gonna look really cool. We're just gonna put little segments of it through here. Great Scott! It works. So basically, I'm gonna cut some holes in the box here and just feed the rope light directly through it, but this is a little bit big on the end, so I'm gonna start by just kind of shaving down this socket here. Before I cut these holes, I think I'm gonna reinforce the back a little bit so this isn't so flimsy when I put the rope through it. Okay, so I need to make the other three holes that go on the outside of the center hole. And those are surrounded by these washers. These are three quarter inch and they were 58 cents each. So I got three of them. Hot glue doesn't actually stick to this metal very well, so I'm gonna go with the super glue. Since I'm gluing, I'm gonna go ahead and glue some of these flaps together on my cardboard box just because it's a little loose. Before I put the light in, I am gonna go ahead and finish off the details for the top portion of this. I'm gonna line the edge of this window just with some black marker. It's a DIY solution, but black marker looks great. Inside the hole, I just used a blank sheet of transparency. This cost 75 cents, and I just glued it in with some super glue all the way around the edge. And then I threw some duct tape along the edges too, just to really hold it into place. All right, so Doc Brown has some labels that he's put on here for himself. Those are made with an old school plastic label maker, which I happen to have because I love making them labels. You can still buy refills usually at an office supply store or you can look online, but I'm just gonna type these out by hand using the label maker. Yeah, I did all three of them at once. Bam! And I only had just enough to not screw up at all. All right, oh my gosh. So official, I love it. The reason that this crappy marker edge doesn't matter at all is because these labels are so awesome. This color scheme, those words, it's the flux capacitor. Great Scott Marty! All right, so I'm gonna try to put these lights in now, poke them through the holes that I made earlier, and I just need three little segments, so I'm gonna kinda keep looping it through. All right, I've loosely put these into place. It's kind of a tangled mess, but I'm gonna start um, cinching them down one at a time. So I'm using galvanized steel wire that I'm gonna kinda just like stick on top of it and then poke it through the box and twist it. Sort of like when you buy toys and they come kind of all strapped into place. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> That is a crazy network of wires and glue and tape, but it's gonna look sweet when we flip it over. Boom. One, two, three. Yes. Flux capacitor is fluxing. All right, we're almost done. So what I'm gonna do next is actually paint the back of this totally black because I don't really want it like shining out from below. So I'm gonna paint all of this black real quick. All right, so the last thing this needs is the colorful plugs that are in there, which look to just be spark plug cables. 
They were $5 each, so I just picked up two packs of them. So each one of these comes with two each, and um, we need three, so I'll just have one left over. And all I have to do is paint these red and yellow. All right, well, I already had both of these, but um, when you buy them new, they're usually around four bucks each. All right, so once these dry, I'll mask the cords off and paint the rest red. Ah, okay. All right, well, this spray paint is not sticking, so that's not good. Might have to hit it with primer first. Okay, so repainting these yellow. I'm not gonna put the tape directly on them. I'm gonna cover them with paper. Even if this paint is fragile, I won't be touching it. All right, this is pretty bright, this red, um, but I just found under my table here that I had a cinnamon color, so I'm gonna do a light coat of that and see how it turns out. Yes. That actually is just the right color. All right, so the last thing to do is to just poke a little hole inside the box and so I can slide this right through it and just glue this in there really good. All right, so these are glued into place. It's looking really cool, but I did kind of get some fingerprints on the paint it's sort of falling off, so here's a cool trick. I'm gonna just spray some of the spray paint and then use a Q-tip and do some little touch-ups. Okay, closing it up. Now we find out if it will allow us to travel through time. Yes! Well, I followed Doc Brown's plans pretty closely and I I feel like the real world application of it really seemed to be working. All right, so that is my DIY flux capacitor from Back to the Future, which is my favorite movie. So if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try and answer back. And let me know what are the props you want to see me try to make. And if you make any of these props yourself, I would love to see them. Be sure and tag them with DIY Prop Shop. And uh, by the way, be sure and check out this sweet DIY Prop Shop shirt. It's in the Ami Gear Shop, so check that out. And I'm also gonna have a guest host here next time, so be sure and check them out. But I'll be back after that, so don't worry, and I will see you guys in the future. These just go right on top, just to kind of cover up the crease and look a little better. All right, top is done.